When I was doing the filming for the Face Off campaign, I saw so much cruelty, neglect, animals in torment, um, dead animals, rotting animals left in the pig farms. And one of the overriding feelings that I came with, away with, obviously, was that I felt terrible because I couldn't rescue them all. I just wanted to scoop them all up and take them with me. Um, but of course, it's impossible. You're in places with literally thousands of animals and 10 million pigs are killed in Britain every year. But I was absolutely determined to find some way of at least rescuing some pigs. And I know we have one animal here, Mummy, and her six babies. But for me, and I hope for people watching this, they can represent all the millions of their brothers and sisters who are not being rescued, but maybe through people seeing them and seeing how wonderful they are, they will stop eating them, because the only way, of course, to truly rescue animals is for the nation to stop eating them. Hello. <laughs> and so I came to Dean Farm Animal Sanctuary and talked to Jeanette and Mary and said, will you help me rescue some pigs? Um, I really need to do this. And fortunately, they immediately said yes. And we found a farmer pretty quickly who was actually closing the pig farm down. Um, and these animals were going to slaughter. And fortunately, instead, they've come here to Dean Farm Animal Sanctuary where they're going to live out their days many years to come yet and um, they're just in this area here with all this lovely straw just while they settle in but of course they've got access to acres and acres outside once they've settled the piglets are just coming up for four weeks old um, and I'm very very aware that in the factory farms that I visited um, with my colleagues from Viva that the piglets are taken away at three weeks in factory farms and they're ripped away from their mothers who are kept in crates metal barred crates but these piglets, they've already gone past that age when they'd normally be taken from the mother. And you can see how strong the bond is. Bond is. When, when we were in the transporter, she kept checking that her piglets were okay. It was interesting. She was making um, sounds when she was snuffling in the straw, obviously this lovely big straw, which she's probably not used to at all, of course. She was making certain noises, but then she would stop and go really still and make a very different sound to, to communicate with her piglets to check they were okay. And they were literally were talking to each other. She'd say something in a sort of dark, uh, sorry, in a, like a deep cough, like, hmm, and they would respond back. And then she would respond, they would respond. She was checking all through the journey that they were okay. And then when she heard the piglets, the two that were left in this cage that hadn't quite come out yet, and she heard them do a high-pitched squeal, she ran to them. So I'm just saying the obvious that the, 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 the mother bond in an animal so complex as a pig is so very, very strong. And it's so dismissed what we do to them all the time is just rip their babies away and then they're put in the rape rack. And that's, of course, where I filmed Lou. And what we'd really like to do is for you to think up names for these animals. So blue is the sow that very sadly is left in Necton Farm. This is a sow who's been rescued with her babies, but we'd like you to come up with a name for her and for her six piglets. And I hope people watching this are as excited as we are because I just, Oh, just to have that feeling of joy that you're able to give life for life. I know that we do that all the time with Viva by changing people and the thousands and thousands and thousands of people that I've spoken to over the years who've gone vegan because of something Viva's done. But it is really hard walking away from animals in factory farms. It is really farm and it doesn't affect you a lot and it's not something that leaves you so doing this for me see i want to cry now is um, is just really really special this straw is fun <laughs>